At our zoo about three years ago, his name's Tuari, Tucson, Arizona. Tuari. Hi, little boy. What's going on? Um, and uh, within zoos, as I was talking about in the very beginning, that we try to do cooperative breeding programs so that we're not taking animals out of the wild. Um, so every species has a stud book and a stud book keeper. But then that stud book holds every individual animal within that species. So here at the Reed Park Zoo, we hold the stud book for the giant anteater. It's our logo. Um, and Stacy holds the genetic lineage of each individual anteater in zoos across the world. So if we are looking at two anteaters and where they are, and if we're gonna try to set those two anteaters up for breeding, we're looking at a couple different things. Each individual is given a coefficient. That coefficient talks about its bloodline. So how viable is that animal's bloodline and uh, how represented is that animal's bloodline? Because what we're looking at is 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the road where we don't want all of the grevy zebras to be related to each other. So if we have like maybe a, a really good stallion out there um, that's studying a lot of mares and all of a sudden we have all of our offspring that are related to that one stallion, well now we're going to have an issue down the road because now our coefficients are going to become too close together and we're going to get a lot of inbreeding. Um, that's happened with a couple species already. One of them is the cheetah. Uh, almost every